So we've had some statements uh, this evening. Uh, his managers, Mark Armstrong and Nancy Sanders, said that our hearts are shattered and we will miss him deeply. He and his family were part of our family for many years and we're all grieving. H the HBO network, which aired The Sopranos show that made him so famous, uh, said we're all in shock and feeling immeasurably immeasurable sadness at the loss of a beloved member of our family. He was a special man, a great talent, but more importantly, a gentle and loving person who treated everyone, no matter their title or position, with equal equal respect. So many people here are talking about the shock of uh, such a great actor at a relatively early age of 51. Yeah, and as many people have said, I mean, he was a natural to play a mobster, I guess, because of the way he looked. And he was a master at portraying kind of barely contained anger and violence. But by all accounts, you say he was uh, a gentle, easygoing guy. Indeed, well, he shared some similarities. He was brought up in New Jersey and uh, with a uh, family who uh, came from uh, Italian descent. Um, he was he, he made his name in Sopranos for eight years when the programme uh, ran, and he won three Emmys for it and, uh, and a Golden Globe as well. Um, so he really he came to came to success relatively late um, in his career. He spent a lot of his time as a jobbing actor and being a bartender as well, trying to find those parts. And it was in uh, it was when he got the uh, the, the role of Tony Soprano that really uh, made his name and made him very famous. But uh, a lot of people here will be obviously in shock at, uh, at losing him at a relatively uh, early age too. And of course, he wasn't stereotyped. After um, Sopranos ended, he took other roles. He was most recently in Zero Dark Thirty and Killing Them Softly, as well as uh, performing on Broadway. So he was very much a, a mixed actor and uh, not wanting to be stereotyped.